subscribe now, and press the bell icon, never miss any update. The simulation hypothesis proposes that all of our existence is a simulated reality, such as a computer simulation which convinces its inhabitants that the simulation is real. The simulation hypothesis bears a close resemblance to various other skeptical scenarios from throughout the history of philosophy. Simulation can be defined as a reality that allows us to learn new things in a relatively safe environment that is needed when we get to the next environment. Simulations are designed to benefit those inside it. Cognitive psychologist Donald Hoffman says we are actually living in virtual reality. A version of the simulation hypothesis was first theorized as a part of a philosophical argument on the part of René Descartes, and later by Hans Moravitz. The philosopher Nick Bostrom developed an expanded argument examining the probability of our reality being a simulation. In an interview with MIT researcher Lex Fridman, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk reiterated his belief that we're all living inside a simulation. When Fridman asked him what his first question would be for the first-ever artificial general intelligence system, Musk replied, What's outside the simulation? The further quantum physicists peer into the nature of reality, the more evidence they are finding that everything is energy at the most fundamental levels. Reality is merely an illusion, although a very persistent one. Do we create our own reality? The answer is, yes, we absolutely do. We create our own reality with what we think, what we believe, what we perceive, and even what language we speak. Recognizing this gives you a responsibility to choose how to see the world. It empowers you to play a bigger role in the creation of your reality. That's all friends, thanks for watching this video fully, I believe this video more informative, if like this video, please hit like button and you are new to us, then subscribe big fact family. Your single like button and subscribe really motivated me to do good content, and once again thank you.